Creativity changes the everyday. Creativity is beautiful. Creativity is active. Creativity is freedom. Alpha NEX5 debut. Sony. Well, Roz Young, your sales and marketing manager for Cradle Mountain Huts Walk and Bay of Fires Lodge Walk in the stunning <laughs> island of, Ta of Tasmania, correct? That is correct. Well, tell me about these two amazing products. So let's start off now with Cradle Mountain Huts Walk. Okay, so the Cradle Mountain Huts Walk is a six-day walk over the... Um, Hang on, six days? Six days! Wow! <laughs> it's over the um, overland track in yeah. the World Heritage area. And oh, we're lucky gosh. enough to have the only private hut accommodation along the trail. Brilliant. Okay, when you say private hut accommodation, tell me a little bit about that. Okay, so we can offer guests hot showers when they come in. We have drying rooms, there's twin room accommodation, mm -hmm. and the guides cook up a three-course dinner for them when they get there. Yeah, it doesn't sound uh, sort of basic in any sense, does it? I mean, it's but it's very experiential, yes? Absolutely. So all day is about the walking, and then in the evening it's about the good Tasmanian food and wine. Fantastic. And then the Bay of Fires Lodge Walk? That's right. So that's on the northeast coast of Tasmania, going along the stunning Bay of Fires coastline. That's three days and, sorry, four days and three yep. nights with two nights at the um, award-winning Bay of Fires Lodge. Oh, lovely. What a great location. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Now, what sort of visitors now, you know, come currently and take those walks? At the moment, um, we work a lot with domestic travellers. Mm -hmm. However, the international market is growing, which is really exciting yep. for us. So, for the overland track, we work a lot with the um, Japanese groups mm -hmm. and then also UK and Europe and North America. And for the Bay of Fires, it's more UK, Europe and North America. Now, are these really strenuous walks or can, you know, sort of really unfit buggers like me uh, <laughs> participate in them? The overland track, you do need a reasonable level of fitness. So that's it. I wouldn't be able to do that one. <laughs> well, no, with a bit of practice and a bit of training, anyone okay. can do it. Yeah. The Bay of Fires walk, because it's along, along the coastline, it mm. is fairly flat, so it's less strenuous, and it's two days of walking and a day of kayaking. Now, the scenery behind us, where's that from? That's from the overland track, so wow. Cradle Mountain. Walk. That's pretty spectacular that's scenery, really isn't spectacular. it? What sort of feedback do you get from people when they've been on one of these walks? They're pretty blown away by what they see in the yeah. environment in Tassie and often it's really all about the guides and how they've really yeah. made the experience and of course, you know, the food, wine and scenery. Yeah, wildlife? Wildlife, yes, you get to see wombats most of the time on the Bay of Fires, dolphins, sometimes there's oh, whales wow. down the coastline. So yeah, a good amount of, you know, the Australian yeah. wildlife. So this is really getting under the skin of Australia, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you've in, got the time to really do it and enjoy it. Yeah, and in the stunning setting of Tasmania. Yeah, now, how do people find out more information about these? Um, go to our website. Mm -hmm. So we have two websites. One is www.bayoffires.com.au and our other website is cradlehuts.com.au. Otherwise, people can give us a call and we'll walk them through it. Well, fantastic, Ross. I hope AC is successful uh, for you. And I know there's somebody waiting to have a chat with you now, so you okay. can sell them more of your <laughs> tours. So thank you for your time today. And maybe look forward to taking part in one of your walks in the not-too-distant future. And I'll go on a diet and do some exercise before I do. <laughs> thank you, Ross. Thank you. You're welcome.